Welcome, in this tutorial I'm going to show you my process for this environment in Blender. The props and textures that I'm going to use are available to download. All the links will be in the description below. You will also find a PDF with the shortcuts in case you need it. The first thing we need is a reference for the scale and proportions. I always use a character. You can download and use any character. I have some tutorials on how to make characters for your scenes. If you are interested, you can find them on my channel. Ok, in this panel, in item, dimensions, we can see the size of the objects. This is useful when we are modeling in real world scale. Uh, first of all, let's add a cube, scale it by pressing S, then Z, X or Y to scale it on that axis. With Ctrl A, apply the scale, just to avoid problems with modifiers. Now in edit mode, we can move it to the right. It's important to move it in edit mode so we can keep the origin at center. And now we can add a mirror modifier. We can also add a bevel modifier. Change the amount. And you can increase the segments. I'm gonna use only one segment. Now add the weighted normal modifier just to smooth the edges. We can apply the bevel modifier. We can make the UVs with Alt Shift click, select the edge loops, then shift and select this edge, hit U and mark sim. Now select all the faces by pressing A, again press U and unwrap. Now we can create a material, select the shader and press Ctrl Shift T. If it doesn't work, you just need to enable the add-on node wrangler in preferences, add-ons. Ok, so now find your textures. We can repeat the texture here in scale. Now what I did was add a new cube, then add the same material. To do that, select it, hold shift. Now select the one with the material. In material properties, click on this arrow, copy material to select it. Now in edit mode, we can duplicate it and make the main structure. We can unwrap again. Now to break the repetition in the texture, just add a mix color to the color texture, choose a color, now press Ctrl T, select a texture that will work as a mask, and we can add a color ramp. Now use the sliders to play with the mask. I like to make the individual planks, for that I'm going to add a plane, scale it to give the shape. Now add a solidify modifier to add thickness. Then add an array modifier. Use the X axis to separate the planks and increase amount. Now apply the array modifier. With Ctrl R we can make some cuts here. Delete the faces with X. This is just to make windows or maybe a door. We can use the same material and ungrab again, but this time click here to duplicate the material so we can repeat the texture if we need. For something like this that is handmade, we should add imperfections. Just move some vertices or we can cut some parts, press K, then delete the faces. We can also use a displace modifier. Let me show you with this model. In the displace modifier, click on new. In type, select clouds. You can change the size. Now in modifiers, lower the strength. In direction, I only want X axis. Now 
Now to make the walls, I'm gonna add a plane. Delete half. And we can use a mirror modifier. We can make some cuts here and delete the face. I want to make a pillar, so duplicate these faces. Shift D. Now press P to separate. Hit E to extrude it inwards. Select this edge loop. Then press Ctrl B to bevel. Select the faces and press Alt E. Extrude faces along normals. Now we can extrude to make the wall. We can use a remesh modifier. Just lower voxel size and apply the modifier. With all faces selected, press U. But this time, select Q projection. And now we can add the displace modifier. Select a displacement map. You can find the link in the description. And here in mapping, we can repeat the texture. Go back to modifiers. In coordinates, use UV. Now lower the strength. And maybe we need more resolution, so we can add a subdivision surface modifier. But this modifier must be above. Now we can add the PBR textures. Make sure to use the same scale in the texture and modifier. You can do the same process with the pillars. Now it's time to drop some props to the scene. I'm using the asset browser here. In my previous tutorial, I explained how to make a library and how to use it. For lighting, here in world, click on color and we can use a sky texture. We can play with the settings, especially with rotation and elevation for a different time of day. For the ground, I use a cobblestone texture and of course use the displace modifier too. We can also blend a grass texture, just duplicate the principal shader, add a mix shader, connect both shaders, press Ctrl Shift T, select the grass textures, now click on mix shader and press Ctrl T. And we can select a texture that will work as a mask. And we can add a color ramp. And now just move the sliders to modify the mask. And that's it. Hope you find it useful. See you next time.